it's good to use different grips for different types of volleys. If you're one of those people that uses the same grip for every volley, you're going to have limitations. So let me show you some examples in this video of what I mean. If the ball is in front of you and it's high on your forehand side, it's actually easier to use your topspin forehand grip where your hand is more behind the grip of the paddle to play that than it is to use a continental grip. All right, so if I use a continental grip and I make contact way out here, now my forearm and wrist are in a very awkward tight position versus if I let my hand just simply rotate behind, now I can play a really strong volley as long as the ball's high and out in front of me. So I'm starting off in a continental grip, but then I'm seeing that ball come high and I'm letting my paddle spin to play it out of my forehand grip. If the ball comes at me lower on my forehand side, then I do want to use a continental grip because then I can get the face of the paddle open and lift the ball with not a lot of effort. If I try to use my forehand grip when the ball's low, I see a lot of players trying to do this with their wrist to lift the ball and it doesn't work out that great. So now because the ball's lower, I'm in a continental grip and I have a much more relaxed wrist than if I were in a forehand grip or something different. And as a rule of thumb, the lower that the ball is, the more open you want the paddle face to be, meaning the more pointed up to the sky the face of the paddle should be as that ball gets lower. And then the reverse is true as well. So if the ball gets higher, then we want our paddle face more closed. So we're not gonna hit a high volley with our face like this. Now let's say I wanna hit a really wide short angle volley from my forehand and it's a medium height or lower ball, I'm actually gonna go past continental grip. So here's my continental, I'm actually rotating it a little bit more so that I can get my paddle angled in that direction very easily. I could also use this on a drop volley. If I wanna apply more spin to the ball, I can cut the ball a little bit more with this grip than I can with a strict continental grip. So because I rotate my grip and I have this angle set, I don't have to swing to make the ball go over that way. If I use a different grip, I might feel like I have to swing and then it's easy to overhit the ball since there's such a small margin to keep that ball in on the short angle volley. The next one is if I wanna hit a drop volley with some backspin on it, I'm gonna go past the continental grip so that I can get a lot of backspin because my face is going to be very open, leading with the bottom edge of the paddle first, and hopefully I can just make that ball die right there. Now on your backhand, if the ball's high, then a continental grip is a good grip to use. So I have a nice relaxed position when I'm playing the ball out in front here and high. As that ball starts getting lower though, I like to rotate my grip closer to a topspin forehand grip. So maybe an Eastern forehand grip as that ball gets lower. So here's some high backhands with the continental grip. So a continental grip on all those high backhand volleys. Then as that ball starts getting lower, then I just rotate my paddle more open. And as I do that, my hand position on the grip changes moving in the direction of my topspin forehand grip. So here's some lower backhand volleys. If I try to use a continental when it gets too low, I have to bend my wrist to get the paddle open. That's an uncomfortable position and leads to a lot of errors. So I rotate my hand as I recognize that ball's coming in low, and then I can play the ball with my paddle more open, but not in a continental grip. If I wanna hit a short angle on my backhand, again, I'm gonna to rotate towards my topspin forehand grip so that I can naturally get the paddle pointed at my target without having to swing to make it go over there. Notice it's very simple because I'm not having to do a swing once the ball gets to my paddle. I'm hitting the inside part of the ball. Because I have my angle set like this, 
but notice I'm not in a continental grip. If I had a continental grip, again, I'd have to bend my wrist to get the paddle angled in the direction that I want. The drop volley with a lot of backspin, same grip again. We're rotating towards our topspin forehand grip so that I can get the face very open. I can really cut the ball with the bottom edge first. Perfect. And occasionally you'll get it to bounce back because you get so much backspin, but it's possible because I have that grip on my drop volley for the backhand. So the lesson here is every grip has its advantages and disadvantages. And so if you can switch grips based on the incoming ball, you're setting yourself up to hit the best volley every time. And the way that I like to think about it is rather than examining exactly where the hand position is on the paddle, I like to focus more on the paddle angle. So if I need the paddle angle pretty neutral and the ball's out in front of my forehand, I just rotate my hand until I achieve that goal. Or if I wanna hit that sharp wide angle, I just rotate my hand until I get the paddle at the desired angle. So it's less of a focus on where exactly are my knuckles and heel pad of my hand, but more a focus on can I get the paddle at the angle that I want on both sides. So if I relax my hand and I just let the paddle spin in my fingertips, I can achieve those grip changes pretty easily.